Hey, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. This is the After Tarot, and I am going to do just a general reading using the this tarot deck. See what it comes out, okay? I have been pre-shuffling it, so we are pretty much set here. We did just see the death card, so you're putting an end to something. Actually, after something has ended, okay, because it's already ended by the time we get this card, um, the sun is coming back up, okay? Death is moving on. The winds are, are clearing out the clouds. Things are going to be getting better. All right, let's see. Let's roll this zodiac die, and we will see what signs you might be dealing with. Okay, we have strong Capricorn on top here. We also have... Um, Strong Sagittarius and Leo, so fire signs. We have Libra, whoop, whoop, Scorpio, and Virgo, okay? And for some reason, I heard they look like twins. Scorpion, oh, Scorpio, <gasps> Virgo, excuse me. Who's drinking this early in the day? Not me. All right, I don't even drink anymore, just occasionally. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. This is just a general whatever comes out, comes out when I'm using the After Tarot deck. Let's give it a quick cut and go at it. All right, so you've got the Judgment card here. You have the King of Swords. Oh, we have the... Four of Swords in reverse. I'll show you the card. Four of Swords came out in the reverse. I don't understand why. These are big cards. They don't get flipped very easily. You had a lot of um, reversals in today's uplifting reading all about you too. I think, no. No, it was in the uh, daily reading. Oh boy, another tower. Sorry. I'm sure you can hear all the vehicles out there. All right, Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, Temperance. Oh, the Nine of Swords. I like seeing that in this deck, okay? This is good in this deck, not negative. There goes the cat. Oh, I think it's the wind blowing over the food dish. Okay, the Chariot here. And the... Two of Pentacles, but you can see we see the person's back. Okay, let me move this over just a touch here. And move it down so you can actually see it a little better, maybe. This is the after tarot. So, instead of it just being the judgment, this is after the judgment, okay? You came out of a, you are currently in and coming out of a six of pentacles where the two paupers were on their knees um, taking alms, okay, receiving alms. And now they are on their way. So they have risen. They have been lifted up. Harmony has been restored. They have more than enough, okay. And here comes a single person, an individual, so there's not two looking to balance things. This is about balancing something within yourself. Okay, and here are your blessings. So you, balance is restored within yourself with your higher power, okay? But you're receiving blessings. And you're released something, okay? Your blessings helped you to real release something. Let me show you this judgment card here. You're, usually they're standing here asking to be called up, okay? Here they are, rising up above. They're letting those old things, the skeletons in the closet, lie. They don't care. They're going to let it be. They're going to let those float away because they know something better is coming for them. That's you. That's you, okay? You know something better is coming for you. Yeah, the king of swords here. Usually the King of Swords has his sword up, okay, resting on the arm of his throne. Here, the truth that when needed to be said was said, okay? I also see that we have a crown here. So whoever um, received the words that were said, you put an end to it. There is no going back. It is the end. And here you are. You released it here, and this is you've made it very clear you are not going back. Okay, there is an ending here. And we see that because of the crown. 
the truth is spoken to that other person and it finished that other person's games, their lies, their whatever they were doing that was against you, you know, whatever they were doing, you've put a stop to it. And you've also unhooded your um, falcon, hawk, eagle, whatever this bird in particular is, okay? You, this would represent your intuition, your higher power, your senses, your other senses, okay? So you are trusting in those again. You've taken the hood off. You're not restricting yourself or your beliefs. And... You see, there are more birds out here, which represent more of this. Understanding, connectedness, unity, harmony. These, the, This king is communicating with that um, bird of prey telepathically. Okay, doesn't even need to say words. They don't speak words to each other. They have an understanding. That's your intuition, okay? All right, so the Four of Swords... After some sort of break that you just let things go. You let it go completely, okay? Um, why would this be in reverse? Spirit saying, if you have left, let it die, okay? You have literally let it go. You have honored it, okay, with this white lotus uh, here. So you're feeling... Whole, honest, complete, in alignment, truthful, okay? And I'm actually getting, let a, let a secret be buried, but no, this is in reverse. So some sort of truth is public knowledge. It was not buried when you let this person go. The truth, the truth is out there, okay? Because that's over this card here. So there may have been a public display or people around you. I'm getting a, I'm hearing that uh, people around you did not know what was happening between you and this person, this situation, whatever it is. Okay. It could also be you holding yourself back here, but I'm getting strongly that this is about a person right here that they were manipulative. They were doing things behind the scenes that nobody else knew about. And they always looked so good in public, okay? But you knew the truth of what was going on here. Well, guess what? When you finally cut this person off, the truth of the situation came out. That's what's... See, there was... Yeah, the truth came out here. So there was a long pause, a long time where the truth was not said. And it could not be let go. Now it can be released. I love that. All right, then you move into this Ace of Pentacles here, okay? And this is the big, huge, divinely offered Ace that is now on the ground and been planted amongst all these white lilies, okay? There is a lucky scarab beetle in the hand of the divine. And so now the divine is saying, I've given you this solid foundation with this pentacle. Go and prosper. Go and make it good. Here's some luck. Here's some blessings for you, okay? You're going to have more than enough to celebrate, to have fun, enjoy life, enjoy people. Get out there and celebrate. Spirit is saying, yes, you've been temperate. You've kept your cool. You've not done things that you wanted to do. You've kept yourself held back for so long, just trying to make the waters flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Usually it's two cups where the water's going back and forth, okay? Between the, the pond, the walk cup, and this cup. Here, peace has been made. A healing peace, okay, has been made. And this is definitely air energy here, a release of the tension, of the pressure, of the guilt, of the being up inside your head. Whatever it is, peace has been made. Okay, and now your true self can take wing. A new day has dawned. The sun is up. It's not just peaking. It's up and it's rising and rising and rising. So letting the past go into the river of time. Okay, not bringing it back around. You have stopped this. Whatever this is, whatever relationship this is, whatever thought you had, it's over. 
There is no going back to it. Okay, you have fought your demons here. That's why I like this card, because here you are. Normally, the Nine of Swords is about sleepless nights, not being able to stay awake, the things that we worry about, what we said, what we did, how people treated us. What could we have done better? Guess what? You faced every single one of those fears, and you knocked them down. They're gone. You fought your demons, and you won. Love this. That takes you into a whole different place, okay? The chariot is all about taking action in a different direction. This little symbol here that you see in these uh, cards, it's a Masonic, I believe, symbol. Um, it, it just means I, I may be down, but I'm not out. I will come back, okay? I will rise again. And here you are. Your sphinxes are no longer laying on the ground. You have given them the direction that you want to go. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Normally the juggler is looking at us. Look, turning his back on us. About to go get on that ship and sail away from here. Not putting up with this inconsistent energy. Or if you're going to put up with inconsistent uh, rocking and rolling stuff, it's going to be the ups and downs of your own life. Okay? What you want out of life. You are sailing away from this. I love it. Oh, I forgot to get a couple of cards here. Oh, we'll do that at the end. Okay, let's clarify this a little more. Let's see what else we can get. What more can we find out here? All right, so the hangman popped out. So you may have been stuck for quite a long time, okay? You finally got a new perspective. What was on the bottom of the deck here? Balance was restored, okay? And blessings were coming in for you. Yes, you've got a brand new perspective. You're seeing things differently. You've hung around that long enough, okay? You've sacrificed an awful lot with this past energy. And this person is going to be your past energy pretty darn soon. All right, so the strength card came out. The Knight of Wands, see, inconsistent behavior. Eight of Pentacles, working and being recognized for your work. But the Two of Swords, keeping blinders on here. So you were challenged by this inconsistent behavior. This could be about a job, okay? But it also means you put an awful lot of time in and refused to accept the truth of the situation. You finally have a new perspective with this hanged man. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clarify the King of Swords here. Can you give us an indication of who, what? What would you like to tell us? About? Oh, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. By speaking your truth, you literally put an end to this situation and turn the Wheel of Fate in your favor. This is you. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is, is all about your journey to your chosen destination. Okay. So you get to choose the path. You get to choose when the Wheel of Fortune changes. You said, you know what? I've done this enough. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Here's my truth. I put an end to it. You've changed your wheel. You've changed your fortune, your future. Now it's going in a better place because you left something negative behind. Okay, now you've opened yourself up to happiness, joy, feeling connected again, being in alignment with yourself, with others. Whatever you had, had there, you let it go. And that was the best thing you could have done. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Swords in reverse here. What more would you like to tell us, Spirit? Oh, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Just checking to make sure I have the deck the right way up. Because that's definitely reversed. Which I think is funny because it landed on the Ace of Pentacles that was upright. So this Ace of Pentacles is reversed for this. Okay, you somebody tried to come back around. Somebody that hurt you desperately tried to come back after a separation and thought that you, they could just waltz in and say, oh, here, look, I got this pretty for you. I've got this shiny thing for you. Oh, I'm going to be so generous here and offer you me like God's gift to the world. Male or female does not matter. All right. And you're like, nah, nope. I've already resolved up here. I'm not playing that game anymore not doing that okay you've had enough heartache 
There's the Eight of Pentacles. Again, I just lost my shoe underneath my table. I have no clue where it went. And making healthy choices, okay? Standing in your own power, knowing your true authentic self, and speaking your truth. Ooh, look at all those queens in a row. And the Judgment card, okay. So there could... Yeah, this person that you were involved with definitely had a couple of people on the side. And you're not playing that game. You're not, no, you're not accepting that back. You've made your decision already. You made your decision before they even came back. Yeah, I'm hearing you made it before they even came back. This ties directly into today's um, general reading, by the way, which was, oh boy, another tower, but you're in your emperor power. So go check that one out because that's the before. That's the what's happening soon. And then this is after that. All right. So we've got the justice card just popped out here. See the chariot and the devil and the moon. Okay. I wasn't clarifying anything yet, but here is Libra energy front and center. The scales are rebalanced. You've got peace. You've got truth. It, it was hidden from you. Look at how that sword just blends with that pillar. Okay, so that's a truth that was hidden from you. About a third, no. Nope. It helps you to put a burden down. Helps you to heal. Okay, let's see. Ace of Pentacles here. Let's get some clarity here. Ace of Pentacles, please. Two of Wands wanted to be seen first, even though we have the Empress, the Four of Swords upright, and the Strength card upright. Okay, so you had a decision to make concerning this future, okay? You had a decision to make. And I am hearing it took a lot of strength, but it, you stood up for what you wanted, okay? You trusted yourself, your intuition. You stepped back from that situation and said, you know what, I, I'll forgive you, but I'm moving on. I know who I am. I know who I am with the Empress energy here, the Empress card. And you stood your ground. You did it gently. Okay? You didn't. You don't have to be harsh. No. I appreciate it. No. Thank you. That's all you got to say. Look at that healing and fresh starts and new beginnings and opportunities and holy grail. And that's exactly what is here. The Ace of Cups. The holy grail. Whew. You have got some courage here. Strength of character. Backbone. Somebody here has a backbone again. Yeah, and I'm hearing that song, not going to break my stride. Oh, no, nothing's going to keep me down. Um, mm. Same group that sings, hello, I read. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not a singer, and I cannot remember words to songs very well unless the song is on, then I can remember every one. All right, Eight of Swords. Clarifying the Three of Cups. You finally have released yourself from what was going on in your head. Yeah, you know who you are. You know your self-worth. You're focused on building a, a beautiful, happy future. Leaving this, look at this, leaving this person who took forever to come around to you. There's the emperor too, okay? While well, they were fooling around, somebody may have been off taking care of someone else. It could have been a mother, a sister, a girlfriend. It could have been anything. But they were not focused on you, okay? And it took them too long. Too long. You are standing in your power there. You know your self-worth. You are not backing down from who you are. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You're, a lot of you are focusing on work, making money, doing creative projects, maybe as side things. You know, brings you in a little bit of money. Yeah, your focus is not on, like, romantic relationship at this time. Even if you're in a romantic relationship, that's not your, like, ultimate focus right now. You're more focused elsewhere on yourself, healing, letting things go, seeing the power of what you can accomplish. Yeah, because you've got the Empress energy here with this fresh new starts. Yeah, you've forgiven the past. You're moving on. You, you've got creativity standing out there. Again, trusting your intuition, having that connection to the divine, 
to your higher power. You're assessing what you want out of life. And you're going to cut out anything that does not. If it does not help you achieve your goal and is not good for where you want to go, you're getting rid of it. That's food. That's drink. That's cigarettes. That's any kind of recreational drug. You are letting all of that go because you don't need it. If you want, if it does not help you take one step closer to what you do want, it's keeping you from achieving what you want. All right. And you, look at that. She came out on the bottom of the deck again after all that shuffling. You're finally trusting yourself, your intuition, God, your higher power, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You are there. You're finally seeing the truth of the situation. We have the Six of Pentacles again. And I say again because it is on the bottom of the deck here. See, here's the two kneeling acolytes or, you know, paupers, whatever it is. They're the ones needing alms. Alms, A-L-M-S, is just um, help. Okay, a handout. Some sort of charity, grace, benefit from somebody else. Okay, seeking help from somebody else. Yeah. Okay. So look at this. Six of Pentacles over the Temperance card in the After Tarot. So clarifying this, you understood a blessing. You understood a message. You, you received a blessing that you embraced wholeheartedly. You got it. You understood it immediately. As soon as it came to you, that's how you managed to get yourself out of this and into this energy of being able to celebrate from the Eight of one, uh, Swords to the Three of Cups. Because you were given a blessing, a download, a message, a benefit. Something came to you. And as soon as you saw it, heard it, felt it, touched it, you realized, this is it. This is my manifestation. This is my blessing. You understood it, and it brought you complete and utter peace, harmony. And you're, I hate to say it, but <laughs> I don't hate to say it. I'm, I feel happy to tell you, you've got more blessings coming. You're doing everything right. You're manifesting the life that you want. And you are going to be receiving more and more blessings, good things coming your way because you're focusing on the right things now. Look at this, the zero, starting from scratch. The Fool, clarifying the Nine of Swords. The Fool, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Look at this, we've got them facing us, okay? Looking down, looking down. I also want to point out this one is looking down like, oh, geez, I don't want to drop that. This one, his head is up, looking at the higher one, okay? So things are looking up with this. That's what I'm hearing with that. You're letting go of this. You're just going to take it as it happens, okay? If that means it's going to be up, then I'll deal with it when I'm up. If I, if I have to go down, which I know I have to go down in order to go back up, I'm going to deal with it. You're just going with the flow. You're letting things heal. You're happy, healthy. This is fantastic. You've got the Ace of Cups right here after the Fool energy. Yeah, once you deal with your demons, you're free, you're ready to go. You can take on any challenge you want. There's nothing to fear but fear itself, okay? And I got I have to point this out with this card. This person is in bed, sitting up with a, a sword, facing their demons. Most people want to stand on their feet, hunker down, really get into the battle, okay, and defend themselves. No, no. This person's like, I've got this huge sword of truth. That's all I need is the truth. I know who I am. I know what I've done and have not done. And you know what? I can forgive myself for the things that have happened. There you, okay, somebody else didn't. Here you are forgiving yourself and you owning your Empress energy. You're done with that. You're not going backwards. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. And you faced your fears head on and dealt with it. Now, there's nothing for you to fear anymore, okay? You can take a leap of faith in any direction that you want in your life. This is the Holy Grail. You are in communion with yourself, your God, your higher power, the universe, the cosmos, source. I don't care what you call it. You are completely in alignment. 
your healing. You've got different perspectives from any and all of those. This is refreshing and light and carefree. And I say that because there's this radiation coming off or this radiating light coming off of this hand. But look at the gentle drops of water coming out of here. That's refreshing. Okay. Especially after facing fire demons and, you know, hot things, things we don't want to deal with. And then you've got that um, two of pentacles. Just go with the flow. It's okay. It's going to be down right now. It's going to be up tomorrow. It may take a week, but it'll even out. Okay. And the more you stay positive and just go with the flow, you'll find that things start to level out. So you're only on a little bit of a up and down, not way up here and not way down there. All right, we're not taking those. Let's clarify the chariot, please. Can we get clarification of the chariot energy here? I was told I was supposed to take those cards. Oh, my bad spirit, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, we got two cards of fast movement. We have got the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. Okay. So the Knight of Swords is going to bring you in some sort of challenge, some sort of information, some sort of message that's just going to make you want to turn and go in the, another direction. And you can do that quickly. Okay. I'm hearing you want to leave. Somebody's going to try to bring up the past... Oh, they're going to try to bring up all the regretful things, all the things that maybe you regret saying, doing, whatever. Don't listen to them, okay? Just don't pay attention to that person. Look at that. And your realization that you can leave this out in the cold. Yep, another tower. Another tower! Can I put that as the title in this one, too? Another tower? <laughs> they aren't bad for you. They're not bad, okay? But... What happens here is as this person is sitting there either screaming these accusations at you, you hurt me, you did this, you didn't do that, you should have been, and you're no good, and what have whatever it is that they're saying to you, that's the moment you, you're like, you know what? I have been over this for so long, I am not going back. So this, I'm actually getting that this could be somebody different. Or this person that you dealt with and got rid of, they're coming back around. They're going to try again. I think in the daily reading, there was somebody who became persistent, wasn't willing to give up. So it could be tied in directly with this. But you've got, you you know how to seek sanctuary, okay? You know where to go when somebody starts talking to you like this or acting like this with you. You just keep your quiet. You just let it go. You freeze them out. What do they call that? Gray rocking? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All, all right. Until they can walk away. Okay. When they don't get a response from you, other than a, oh, yep. Okay. You know, and they believe what you're saying or nodding, then there's nothing for them to keep the fuel going. There's no fuel to keep the fire going. They're not going to keep yelling and screaming forever. Look at that, the Hierophant, doing things right, okay? This could be about a marriage. This could be. All right, but it's mostly about elevating, lifting yourself up, trusting your intuition again. We've seen the High Priestess a couple of times. We have now seen the Hierophant. They're the two that have the direct link to uh, God, to spirit, to the intuition, and that's you, your connection. Ooh, yeah. Okay, you're leaving behind this painful situation here. You're taking those swords out of your back, out of your heart. You're being elevated. You're elevating yourself. You're lifting yourself above this situation. Healing, temperance, temperance. This is the six, three of swords, six of wands. Clarifying the two of pentacles in the after tarot. Okay, so you're walking away from the heartache, the pain. You're going to try something new here. I This is distant lands, moving, moving, moving. You've got the uh, Knight of Swords. You've got the Chariot there. You've got the Two of Pentacles with a ship in the background. That's moving. You're on a horse here. Moving, elevating, heading in a different direction, healing, refusing to accept things the way they were, and you're filling your cup of love. Here's the refreshing water to put in your cup. 
Absolutely. There's your abundance. Okay. Yeah, you're about, don't you dare give up. Stand your ground. Okay. Spirit is saying, don't give up now. You're almost there. Just hold firm. It's You're on top of the hill. Everybody else is below you now. You're winning this. Okay. You are ahead of the game here. Your abundance is coming and there you are owning your emperor energy. Okay. You will be whole, complete, happy, healthy, Oh, good things. Good, 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 good things for you. All right. Let's go ahead and finish this up. There's the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm hearing that once you cut this person off, okay, here you are. You're letting the one thing rot. Okay, that's separate from everything else. You're just going to keep it over there. It's going to do its own thing. You've decided what you want and you're going to go with it. Okay, but you're not taking that. Nope, you're going to let it just go, fade away, be what it is. When you do that, that's that person from your past. Okay, you are now feeling whole and happy and good again and you're running back to safety. Okay, so you're safe, you're secure, you're happy, you're fine. You've got support people around you. Okay, and here you are focused on your Ten of Pentacles, your happiness, your joy, your life. Okay, your family, your friends. Focusing on work again is what I, I keep hearing from this. So you may turn your heart, I'm going to say, down. You're not going to stop loving and caring because you have too many people around you that love and care for you and you do appreciate their support. But some of you will turn your love dial down and not focus on relationships like romantic anytime soon. Now, if this is a friend that burned you to this degree, which I do feel it, and I also feel that it could be a job. There's a lot of different energies here um, because it's a general reading. But if this resonates with you in any form of any type of relationship, then it's your reading. If this doesn't make any sense to you, then it's not for you. Leave it be. Okay, it's somebody else's message. Do not take on other people's issues. Please don't do that. You have enough of your own. We all have enough of our own. All right. Spirit would like to have me give you a quick message from the spirit animals. Oh, boy, oh boy. I'm seeing a card turned over here. Maybe not. We have pronghorn action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here for you. Move forward with complete confidence. Your talents will always help you land on top. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to your success. All right. Claim, like, tickle, boop. Tap that like button for me. Please do that. I appreciate that more than anything else. Also, comments, claiming it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Check the description box. Look for new and upcoming readings. I'm going to be changing things up here. So get some excitement going here, okay? All right. I love you guys to pieces. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.